Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. It says here that there's a masculine who is currently available, okay? I feel like they've broken free from a karmic. Um, and yeah, I feel like this karmic blames you, okay? Um, that's gotta be what this is. They only, they can only blame themselves though. I feel like, um, it was, yeah, you haven't been a part of this. I'm not even feeling your energy out here yet. <laughs> uh, you may have ghosted or uh, not ghosted, but blocked off this person. They feel lost. I feel like originally this person ghosted you and now you have them cut off. Because I don't even feel your energy out here yet, collective, I gotta say. Um, I feel like you're being protected. That's, that's probably why. You may feel this person's energy coming closer to you. Waves of emotion. Um, you may even be seeing them in your dreams. Pay close attention to your dreams. What is this? Yeah, this person's pulling on your energy hard. They are... They do not want to let you go. Um, but yeah, there is a, they're, I feel like they've broken free from the karmic. Okay, they're coming to talk to you. They're heading back towards somebody from their past that they're in love with, unconditional love. This masculine is currently available because they're leaving behind um, this karmic individual here who's been doing a whole lot of crying and going real nutty over this, okay? And I feel like this is the person that um, that's blaming you, okay? They blame you um, for, I feel like they've, mostly this person feels very embarrassed. I feel like this karmic um, tried to, I don't know, put on some kind of show for the community. They wanted everybody in their circle to think that this was like a, they had a perfect situation going on and everything was proper and, and awesome, you know, and uh, behind closed doors, it was a mess. I feel like this person um, ended up like not wanting this karmic anymore. And I feel like the, the more the karmic felt threatened by your connection with this masculine, um, the crazier they got, the more um, volatile they got, the more unpredictable they got, the more pushy and um, bossy and, you know, the more of a bully they became, okay? And I feel like the, all this person does is obsess about you. Um, I feel like they've had a lot of fights about you. I feel like it's a daily thing. And, and they only have themselves to blame for this. That they should have let go of this connection a long time ago. But instead, they are trying to compete with somebody who's pulled, you've pulled your energy out. You've got this person cut off. So I honestly, I really, besides this and the emotions that you're feeling um, from your person, um, I don't really feel your energy out here. You're trying to disconnect. But yeah, your person's even moving a home. They could have to sell a home, make a location change maybe. Um, this person could be traveling or moving to your location to be closer to you, Collective. I feel like right now you are being protected. I'm kind of getting the sense that you're right on the cusp of starting a whole new life, okay? A new way of life, possibly even in a new location. Something new, new, new about your life, okay? But right now um, is kind of a time where you're sort of keeping to yourself, okay? I'm kind of getting the sense that the divine now is back into the protection mode of you because they know that this karmic, I feel like they blame you collective and they want revenge. Um, so the, the divine is kind of keeping you a bit isolated right now. Maybe you've noticed that. You may feel like you really want to get out, but then something pulls you back, you know, um, or keeps you at home, or something like that, okay? You may notice that, and it, it, that's part of the protection, because the divine is literally looking right at this karmic, 
okay? They know this karmic wants to do something here. See, I feel like you have been treated like a, like a dirty little secret um, in this connection. This karmic sees you as a homewrecker. They see you as, you know, the third party, the secret love affair. You know, they, they, this is how they see you. So they're blaming you for the for the breakup of of their relationship with this masculine when really you I feel like you haven't been a part of it this whole time it's been your masculine that's been in love with you okay and um that's not that's really not your fault um and I feel like this was a, a secret I, I feel like um this masculine maybe had had an affair with you while these two were in some kind of commitment. But I feel like this masculine may have lied to you because they had secrets that they were keeping too. And they ghosted you. I, I feel like you didn't even get the truth from this person. You, you didn't, I mean, they didn't give you the truth right from the gate. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you were pulled into a third-party situation. And this karmic may not know the whole truth, but at this point, they are so angry and upset with you. And they blame you for the downfall of this connection. And I'm telling you, they're, they're going to want revenge. Right now, they're, um, they're online a lot, searching through your stuff looking possibly for something that they can use against you. So be careful what you're posting, man. Okay? Be careful. Definitely a karmic situation here. And I feel like they're being very strategic. Okay? They're planning. They're taking their time. They're doing this in silence. But it's strategic. Okay? So, yeah. And this is somebody who is extremely intelligent now. I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling air energy. So maybe a Libra, um, Libra, Aquarius, possibly a Gemini, but I'm feeling more Libra and Aquarius here, I got to say. You could possibly be a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or maybe a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you here. I feel like it's this, um, it's this karmic, it's, this is all about them blaming you for the ending of this relationship, okay? The karmic relationship is over, they're selling a house. Somebody's going to have to move, okay? And this karmic is mad, like spitting mad, okay? <laughs> spitting mad. Um, there's a whole lot of gossip here, but they've been cut off. That could also be why um, the Divine Masculine, your person, has cut this, this karmic off is because of the gossip, the jealousy, the envy. Like I said, it's, it's like a daily thing in their household. And I feel like this Masculine just doesn't want to be there anymore. This Masculine is in love with you, collective, for whoever this is for. So, yeah, I feel like there's other people um, that know about this, too, that talk about you. I feel like they're talking about the masculine as well. They could even be out there um, exposing this masculine secrets. And that could be another reason why the masculine has cut them off. It's an extreme cutoff. Like, they are done with this karmic. I feel like they've just had enough of the unpredictability, the nuttiness, um, the uh, constant envying, um, envious, being envious of you, the jealousy, the obsessing about you. Um, yeah, I feel like they're just done with it, you know. It's given me the whole Mean Girl vibes, you know, that movie, Mean Girls. Um, it's given me, like, this person was living with possibly a group of mean girls that could, uh, they were around them all the time. Maybe this is the karmic's friends that would come over and just be mean. <laughs> That's really what this is. And I feel like this masculine, that this is why they only have themselves to blame. 
because of how they've acted, because of their immaturity, because of all of this, this negativity. That's why they've lost this connection. Because I feel like you pulled yourself out of this this whole time. You haven't been a part of it. You weren't, you weren't going to allow this person to keep you on the down low. You know, I, you could be seeing um, some repetitive signs here. 11-11, um, 2 two, two, three, three, three. You could be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities through things like music and your dreams. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is kind of trying to telepathically communicate with you, even though I don't have that card out yet. Um, I keep picking up on your dreams for some reason, okay? Family, they could even have a family together, or you could have children with this person. Okay, take it how it resonates, but there are kids involved here. All right, what else can you show me? I feel like all of this anxiety is coming from the karmic. Um, I mean, their life is being uprooted here, okay? Uh, their, their home, they, they're going to have to move. I feel like they're going to have to move because I feel like somebody's selling a home, a property. Um, they're losing their relationship. I feel like this person was um, somehow competing with you. I don't feel like you were competing. Your energy is not really even out here. Um, but I feel like they were competing with you. They knew about this. Uh, I feel like they thought that you wrecked the situation, okay? They knew that um, your person had a fling with you or an affair or you guys were together. They know your person's in love with you. I mean, you haven't been around this situation at all, but yet they blame you. Yet they blame you, okay? Yeah, you're this person's fantasy here. They can't stop thinking about you. I feel like you're going to get the re the repetitive numbers and the signs that this person is on their way in, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. Because they honestly, the, all they're doing is dreaming about you. That's it. They're dreaming about you. Um, pay close attention to your dreams, I'm telling you. I feel like they're, they're, they're dreaming about you. They're wishing for you. You're going to get some kind of sign that this person is about to um, show up at your door. They will just spontaneously show up. Okay, so I feel like pay really close attention to those repetitive numbers and those uh, song lyrics that might pop out at you and, and seeing this person in your dreams, you know. Um, yeah, they're going to come forward here. This person's making their way to you. They won't, I feel like they won't be able to reach you by phone or text message or anything like that. Um, because you may have blocked them off already. Yeah, this is your divine masculine and I feel like they're bossing up. They stood up to the karmic. They gave them a, an extreme harsh cut off. They're um, selling their property, um, taking care of their business in the background with the split. They're getting all dapper to come towards you. All they're doing is, is wishing for you. Okay? So you're about to hear from this person, Collective. All right, so what else can you show me here? But I'm not sure about the children involved here. So they... Um, you know, they may need to um, pay for some kind of child support. Yeah, this person's about to come towards you here. They want to talk, collective, okay? This is somebody, it says planning. I feel like they want to start planning a future with you. They want to start planning a future with you. I feel like this was a connection that started off... Um, with this person just wanting to have fun. I feel like um, you were a huge temptation for them then, and it's never gone away. I feel like um, during this time of separation, they have fallen in love with you. They're realizing that. They can't stop thinking about you. They, they don't want to stop thinking about you. 
They don't want to stop dreaming about you, okay? They want to come and talk to you. So this person's about to show up, but um, there is this karmic in the background that's trying to dig up things about you so that they can gossip and spread things around. They may want to try to ruin your reputation somehow. Honestly, you're not even, yeah, you're not even a part of this, man. And yet this karmic blames you. They want revenge. Uh, they're not, they're not, uh, this is irrational reasoning. I feel like this karmic is so upset and so stressed out and I got to say exhausted from all of this, okay, um, that they're not thinking clearly anymore. I, I really am getting the sense that, um, man, they want, they want payback. They do. And you're like Audi, you're not even, like I said, you're trying to move forward. You, you don't want to be a part of this. You're leaving the scene. Some of you could even be moving away. I feel like it's your person that's hanging on to your energy. They do not want to let you go. Um, and this is what the karmic blames you for. Yeah. I feel like, too, they're going to try to take it out on your person. They want child support. What did I just say? They want some kind of child support. See, I feel like you're not a part of this here. They haven't, you haven't been talking to them. You haven't been anywhere near them. You haven't been taking any kind of action towards anybody. You've just been focusing on you and being fabulous. That's all. You've been focusing on being fabulous, Collective, and the, all this karmic wants to focus on is bringing you down. Um, but they only have themselves to blame. They can only blame themselves because they're going, they've just been obsessively crazy about this, okay? All right, what else can you show me? This masculine's coming to talk to you here. Yeah, you have been disconnected. It says it says plugged in, right? It says tuned in, connected. But I'm not looking at the words. I'm looking at the picture. I'm seeing a disconnect here. Like there should be another plug here or something. And there isn't. And I just feel like, um, yeah, you've disconnected. You may be tapped in... Um, you may be tapped into the divine and the messages that you're getting to move forward. And you may feel your person's energy, you know, the waves of emotion and seeing them in your dream state. But um, you're disconnecting from, from this situation. And no one can put any kind of blame on you at all. I feel like you were put in a third-party situation. And I feel like you were thrown to the wolves. Yeah. I feel like it was done to you, okay? And then you were, um, you were blamed for it. You, you know, they tried to make you the scapegoat. And it became an obsession. And now this karmic wants revenge. And that's why you have divine protection. It's because the divine has seen everything and they know that it wasn't your fault. Okay? Yeah. All right, so give me one more for the collective. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, this karmic, I feel like they tried to do everything that they could. You know, they're angry because this thing is over. They're angry because, you know, this could be um, a past life soulmate connection where this karmic has done this to you and your connection in past lifetimes over and over and over again. I feel like this karmic has done everything they they could to trap your person and keep them in a situation, including um, pulling on their heartstrings, um, being codependent, needing money, um, possibly getting pregnant, right? And just keeping your person closed in a situation that they didn't want to be in, doing whatever they could. And the divine is telling this person, it's over. 
It's over. Okay? Period. And uh, honestly, it's, it's because of how they've been in the situation that the masculine doesn't want them. They want you. You're leaving. You're ascending. You're moving forward. You want no part of this. You're tired of being some forbidden love, some dirty little secret kept on the down low. You, you know, a third party. You were pulled into this. This isn't what you wanted. No. No. So, yeah, you're moving on. You're not even a part of this collective. This is, this karmic is freaking out because your person can only think about you. They can only think of, see, they're raging. They're raging because the masculine only wants to talk to you and they're coming to you. They're coming to you. I'm telling you, this karmic is literally raging. They blame you. Uh, and they want to retaliate. They want, uh, they're trying to find something out about you online that they can use against you. They're gossiping. They're probably dragging your name through the mud, but they've been doing that for a long time. And that hasn't had an effect, has it? So, yeah, you know, I mean, you're Audi. You don't want to, you, all you've been doing is working, it looks like. Empress energy, you've been busy. You've been working on you, growing your stability, growing your abundance, a boss, business owner, focused on you, all of the healing, the healing that it took for you to walk away from this connection. Um, I mean, you've been putting forth the effort into yourself. They should have been doing the same thing. They should have been putting their effort into themselves, their relationship that they tried so hard to trap this person in, um, you know, their family, okay? All they've been doing is competing with you somehow, all right? And I feel like that's it. It's time has run out. Time's run out on this karmic situation. It's time to cleanse that energy out and get it gone. All right, um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. The karmic, though, man, they're ready to explode. They're raging. So watch your back, collective, okay? Just watch your back. Um, let's see what the romance angels have to say. I feel like you have protection, and I feel like um, you, you weren't a part of that. You know what I mean? He, here's the thing. You and this masculine both have romantic feelings for each other, okay? And this person's coming in to flirt. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Extend your lighthearted, lighthearted energy to others, right? Religious factors. Um, so your person may be freaked out a little bit over your divine femininity, <laughs> right? Your divineness, right? Your divinity. They may, they may be freaked out over your abilities, um, your psychic abilities, your intuition, all right? Um, but you're spiritual and you're not going to bend. So if, if there are religious factors, I feel like you're saying that's too bad, Okay. Yeah, you're pretty much um, in your north node right now. I don't think anybody's going to get you out of it, okay? So whatever you deeply believe in now that's gotten you this far, you're going to continue to believe in that, and you're not going to waver. So if they have a problem with you being spiritual, oh well, right? Right now, you're focused on your finances and career, this person, they've got romantic feelings for you. They're coming in to flirt, but I'm seeing you more business-minded right now. I got to say, I feel like you're really going to make this person work for it if you do give them a chance, okay? If they get any kind of chance at all, if they get that one in a million shot at you again, <laughs> um, yeah... I feel like you're just, you're really focused on yourself right now. Sorry about that. My camera battery died. I think it was my battery anyway. 
Um, my my equipment can't keep up with me, collective, right? It can't. I'm just working too hard here. Um, anyway, yeah, I feel like um, this person's coming in fast. All right, and some of you may be thinking that you have new love coming in fast as well, but I feel like it's this person's energy. They're about to just show up. They really are. This, they don't want to wait anymore. You're their fantasy. They, they're making a big wish for you. They, they're in love with you, and they're going to show up. Okay, and it says here that this could be the one. I feel like this is a past life soulmate connection here. You're going to have a decision to make, okay? Um, or, like I said, some of you could have met new love here. What is this? This could be the one. Because it says here, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So maybe some of you just met somebody new. If you haven't, if you're single, um, that's this person's energy wanting to come in, okay? fast. It's coming in fast. What's this? So keep an open mind here. This person's coming to talk to you. Look at He's coming. He's going to sit down. You guys are going to have a, a conversation. I feel like the divine just wants you to listen, right? No matter what you decide to do, I feel like this person has a, a cycle to close up. And I feel like they're being guided to you to apologize and make things right. That brings you your justice. So whether you take this person back or not, I feel like the divine is saying, just listen. Hear them out. Right? Um, yeah. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Because you do deserve that justice. You deserve it. Okay, give me one more. Children, yeah, that was on the bottom of the deck too. Um, you know, they may, you may actually decide to give this connection a chance after you hear this person out. I gotta say, you may take this person back, um, especially if you share children together. You may take this person back, and this could lead to marriage. Wow. I feel like after you hear them out, something changes. This communication, honestly, I, it goes from from you being set in you know in um, in your north node, focusing on your career and your abundance, right, um, to them talking to you and you listening to what they have to say, and then all of a sudden you guys get back together. Wow. Um, this communication, I feel, is going to change everything, okay? I feel like this communication is going to change everything. I feel like you're in the process of releasing right now. Um, I really do. I feel like you're just really tired, collective. I saw the release your ex card on the, on the bottom of the deck, but I feel like that's the energy that you're in right now. And this person coming towards you it's going to surprise you it's going to be sudden you're not expecting this and when you sit and hear them out i feel like it changes everything around kind of instantly calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together yeah huh that's actually pretty awesome i gotta say so, yes, this person is showing up. They're going to communicate with you. I feel like that's going to change everything around. Um, and I feel like you're going to give this connection a chance. But meanwhile, I'm telling you, this karmic, oof, they blame you for everything, everything, every little thing. If they stub their toe, nope, it's your fault. Okay, if they burn the pizza, nope, it's your fault, collective. They blame you for everything, even though, you know what, you pulled yourself out of it. You were thrown into it brutally, and then you pulled yourself out of it, and they still blame you. 
Okay, so be very careful. Watch your back. There is um, a karmic lurking around. Be careful what you post online, okay, especially about your personal life and business, right? Um, because they're watching for any kind of information, any kind of mistake, slip up, anything like that, that they can use against you. Um, but yeah, this masculine's about to show up, and I feel like this communication is going to change everything. I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not.